Hello again! In this video, I will make some new evolutions and regional variants, as it is a topic that you all like. So, let's evolve some of them. Regional forming and evolution. Lickitung. The first regional variant with a new evolution is Lickitung. I decided to take inspiration from Lickitung itself, as well as ice cream vendors. The marshmallow goes from Ghostbusters and Brain Freeze. You can see that I made its tongue partially frozen, as if it had touched something very cold, and I also added cold breath coming out of its mouth. Its brain is freezing, so I made ice emerge from its head, which has a shape similar to a sailor's hat. And this poor guy is struggling. You can see the pain on its face. For the colors, I mainly used shades of blue, including for the tongue. Regional Lickitung is finished, it's a normalized type. A brand new type combination. To make sense with the lore, I chose Ice Body, Oblivious, and Regenerator as its abilities. The stats are basically the same, and the shiny form has colors similar to the Kanto Lickitung. Tell me your opinion. Now I'm going to create the evolution of this Lickitung, but instead of making it a Lickiliki, I'm going to create a completely new evolution of course, I'll take inspiration from Lakiliki as well as Snowman. As you can see, it turned out to be very friendly looking. And its tongue is in a pose similar to Lakiliki's beta design. The lore behind it is that it consumed so much Vanilux ice cream that its body became entirely made of snow and its brain no longer functions because it's frozen. That's why it has that silly expression. The colors are primarily white and shades of blue, just like its pre-evolution. Its name is Lickifrost, <coughs> a combination of Lick and Frost especially referring to the snowman called Jack Frost. It is also a normalized type. The abilities are now Ice Body, Regenerator, and Snowball to match the snowball effect. The shiny form has colors resembling the normal Lickiliki. I hope you like it. Regional Evolution Vulpix Next, we have a suggestion from Roxanne Winslow, an alternate evolution for Canto Vulpix with the ghost type. I know it's not exactly that, but I adapted the idea. I decided to create it inspired by Kitsune, the Ninetales itself, and the Dia de los Muertos from Mexico. Its body shape is similar to Ninetales, but more curved. And it has only one tail. It also has details on its paws that resemble those of Vulpix. For the face, I made a kitchen mask to give it a more aesthetic. The colors are basically beige, black, and red. Final result is Whisperish, a combination of Whispers and Parish, but also a play on Willow Wiz. It is a fire ghost type. This week I made a poll asking you to guess the pre-evolution of Whisperish. As you can see on the screen, I'm sorry to disappoint the majority, but congratulations to those who got it right. 
The abilities are Perish Body and Magic Card to Max Allure. The shiny form is black. Similar to the shiny Ninetales from Kanto. I hope you like it. Regional Forming and Evolution. Dunsparce. And today is Roxanne Winslow Lucky Day. Because the next one is also their idea. I decided to create a regional variant for Dunsparce with a ground type and an evolution for it. Because I think Dudun Sparse is very underwhelming. My references were flatworms, sand snakes, and slugs. Which is why it should be a convergent form rather than a regional form, but whatever. The design is quite similar to Dun Sparse, but it has false eyes like a flatworm, while its real eyes are closed near its mouth. I also decided to put a poke ball on its back. Mimicking the false eyes of a flatworm, the colors are earthy and brownish tones. And the regional variant of Dunsparce is done. It's a ground type to match the design. The abilities are Runaway, Water Absorb, and Rena Trap. There's not much to tackle about it, but note that the shiny form has similar colors to the regular Dunsparce. And finally, it's evolution. My references were chubby snails like Gary from Spongebob. As you can see, I made its shell in the shape of a poke ball, and its bulging false eyes resemble a snail. Credits to Sophia for helping me with this design. For the colors, I chose shades of green and brown. The final result is Dune Sparse, a combination of Dunes and Dun Sparse. It is a ground bug type because it matches the design. The abilities are Shell Armor, Water Absorb, and Rena Trap. The shiny form is similar to Dun Sparse. In my opinion, it is better than Dun Dun Sparse. Do you feel the same? Well, that's it. I hope you like these evolutions. If your idea didn't appear in the video, don't be upset. There are over 50 new ideas every week. And I can't make them all. I hope you understand. Well, thanks for watching. There will be a new video next week. Bye bye, Huggies.